lot of people ask me about animals in, in this place, and they come down to Costa Rica and they think they're going to be living in a zoo, and to some extent that's true. The animals are very well hidden, they don't like to be seen, but coming to Anamaya you're almost guaranteed to see a few animals. One of them is monkeys. We have two different types, including the world famous howler monkeys that like to scream every morning and every night and in the trees, and people really enjoy the howlers. People are fascinated by the idea that they can sit in their hotel room or eat, eat a snack and sit on the deck and just watch monkeys forging in the trees right in front of them. And, and it's definitely the place. The howler monkeys are very common in this part of Costa Rica. People are almost guaranteed to see them. We also have parrots. We have a small type of toucan. We have some, some other exotic jungle birds, rainbow plumage, and an incredible number of hummingbirds and butterflies, including blue morphos that a lot of people would like to see. We also have two animals that are, you're very likely to see here. One is called a pizote, which is a lot like the lemurs that, in the movie Madagascar. And they come in large groups, and they're black and white stripes on, on their tails, and they're really animated. And we also have a guatusa, which is like a large guinea pig that runs around the property and tries to eat our organic waste in our compost pile. And also a lot of undersea life that we have incredible animals like whales, you can see dolphins sometimes. Certain months there are more whales than others, and you're not guaranteed to see them, but it's a great spot because we can see a lot of ocean and we're, in, we're above a, a river mouth where the waterfall comes out. And because of that, the, the whales like to go there and feed on whatever is feeding on the organic material that's coming out of the rivers. Color-changing octopus, which changes rainbows of colors while you watch. Sometimes people see whale sharks. People see all kinds of eels and pufferfish. Really an amazing amount of animals. The Pacific coast of Costa Rica is famous for large fish more than, more than the Caribbean. The Caribbean tends to have a more variety of smaller fish. Here we have a larger fish and, and that makes for a very exciting experience because there's also sea turtles. There's five types that nest on the beaches in the area and at night at various beaches you can see um, cheap sea turtles. There's two or three programs that are starting up now to protect them in the area. Um, also we've had a lot of friends and family that have seen baby turtles hatching and running down to the beach. One of the best things you can do in the area is also to, to visit Rainsong Wildlife Sanctuary and I'm one of the founders and biggest supporters of it. It's, in, it's about 15 minutes from here. You can go there and animals that have been found and abandoned as babies or have been injured on electric lines or attacked by dogs and found by either tourists or people that get brought to Rainsong Wildlife Sanctuary. We have up to a dozen or even up to 20 volunteers working there at all times, taking care of the animals, changing their cages. And so a lot of our guests go there to visit because they can see the animals. And some of them have been raised since they were two or three days old, and they're very friendly with people, so you can pick them up. And we have an anteater, it's a full-grown anteater that just loves to be held. It's just like a living stuffed animal, and it's, it's really hilarious. It likes to try to climb on top of your head and get in your hair. And, Everybody has a really fun time shooting little videos and taking pictures of themselves with Auntie the Anteater. You can also show you at Rainsong how to hold a porcupine. We have three porcupines that have also been held since they were little babies, so they're very friendly with people. So a lot of people, I think when they go back after their trip from Costa Rica, one of the favorite things that they always remember is their trip to Rainsong. So I highly recommend it and make a donation while you're there to help, help Rainsong because we need the, the money to feed the animals and build the cages that take care of them.